Hello, everybody out there. So on July 24th, I posted a review of the movie Murder, Death, Koreatown. In this review, I was fairly positive about the movie. Um, it was available at that time on Amazon Prime. I don't know about right now. I certainly don't know about the future. That We'll get into that. But uh, I, I generally consider the movie to be... Uh, I was excited about it. Uh, I thought it was worth talking about. I didn't even really wait that long. I just really wanted to jump in the chair and start talking about it when I was done watching it. I thought it was interesting. I thought it was... Uh, fascinating. It was mysterious. Uh, I had no idea, and I still don't know, who made it. There's no end credits. No idea who directed, wrote, anything along those lines. Uh, I mentioned in my review that I did have a potential uh, uh, issue as far as whether or not there was unethical filmmaking taking place, most notably about a character in there that was a homeless individual that appeared to have some mental problems. And the performance was so well done and so nuanced that I actually questioned whether or not the filmmakers grabbed a homeless individual and shoved a camera in their face and just kind of gave them general guidelines on where to go with their dialogue. And if that was the case, then I would consider that to be potentially unethical filmmaking. And you know, I mean, we wouldn't we would be dealing with an individual that wouldn't have sound mind enough to sign legal documents such as waivers and uh, contracts and so forth. So, uh, and I put that as a caveat, you know, that if I, you know, if everything was done ethically and I hope that it was, then, you know, I, I strongly recommend the movie. Uh, and I kind of went on from there. Well, I've been talking with my friends over at Bloodbath and Beyond, and they have presented me with some evidence of unethical filmmaking behind the scenes in a different fashion with this movie. Uh, so this film starts off with a murder uh, that kind of gets the ball rolling as far as the characters and the narrative and so on. But it would appear that the murder that starts things off was an actual murder. I mentioned in my review that I that it seems to take uh, footage from existing crime scenes, uh, which lent itself uh, an air of realism to it. Uh, in my examples, there, you know, potentially a burglary or something along those lines, and you know, the cops are there and so on, and they you know kind of tack that onto the narrative. Uh, but it would appear that it was not. Uh, a burglary or shoplifting or anything it was an actual murder and it used footage of an actual crime scene and then based a fictional narrative on top of it <sighs> exploitation in films has been around for decades and uh, whether or not they have a place in our libraries it it's up for debate it's endlessly debated in film classes all across the world um, but ultimately I have to live with myself. You know, I have my own moral values and I have to stand by them. And for me, this is a pretty clear cut case of they went too far. This was exploitative in a degree that I no longer feel comfortable putting any level of support behind this movie. So I have withdrawn my video and I hereby withdraw my review and my score of it. Um, I cannot support this film and I cannot support the filmmaker's vision in putting this out there, period. Um, the only other thing I'll really say on this is I jumped the gun and I apologize. Uh, you know, I got done watching it and I really, really wanted to talk about it. I just jumped in the chair, I clicked uh, record and I just uploaded what I had. I didn't even put in any kind of graphics or intro or anything. I just really wanted to talk about this movie. But honestly, the homeless individual that gave me pause enough to mention the potential ethical problems of this film should have been pause enough for me to take a moment a day or two and do some research and I didn't and I should have and I am sorry so this is going to be me doing better in the future uh, next time I get really riled up about a movie and I really want to talk about it right 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 now uh, I will find other avenues uh, before actually making an official recorded review I will make sure that at the very least, those things that would give me pause enough to make a caveat mention would be enough for me to do some research. So I do sincerely apologize for anybody that I may have hurt by putting my support behind this movie over the last few days. Thank you very much. I appreciate you watching, and I hope to see you on the next review. Thank you again.